Hey everyone, my name's Gast, and this is a little bit of a uh, different video from uh, what other live reactions have been for E3 this year. I wanted to do a uh, reaction on the Trials of Mana game. So, Trials of Mana is going to be a remake from Seiken Densetsu 3, which was uh, the third mana game in the series. Um, and I actually... I've never really talked about the old games that I used to play before Fire Emblem or I guess as Fire Emblem was like kind of becoming like one of my favorite games ever. Um, but when I was growing up, I had a computer and on that computer, I my friend like put on ZSNES and he had like literally maybe like, I don't know, like 70 games on it. And I didn't really know anything about emulation at the time. Of course, I do a lot now because it's part of like my passion on the side for for like ROM hacking and stuff but when I first you know got this big list of games I just played through every single one of them and one of the ones that have always stuck with me is Seiken Densetsu 3 it's an action RPG and you can play as six, you can play as three characters in a roster of six and the it just kind of brings me back because it's like the sprite work was beautiful, the artwork was amazing, the gameplay flowed so well, the game was so deep and there was multiple ways you can do things, each main character had their own story and you can have different, and each character felt so unique and whatnot and I was so elated to see this remake coming out um, because it was just such a huge part of my, it actually was a big part of my childhood and I remember the like so many good memories. Uh, Especially with, I, I forget the guy's name where you go on, where you swim on him, and he's like, he, he's, uh, he starts as like, you got this fish thing, and you ride on him, and then you get the, the dragon, you can fly on that, and this game, like, you, when you think you beat the game, it kind of does that thing, in my opinion, where if you played Fire, Fire Emblem, Final Fantasy VI, where you, where you, where you beat, uh, where Kefka like destroys the world for the fir like the first time, and you think like the game's over when you beat the Emperor, but it's not. It ends up being like Kefka being like the big villain guy, uh, and you have to play through like a second arc of the game or whatever. Something similar happens with this game, um, and I was just oh my gosh! Like when I saw this, I was like, I have to, I have to see what's going on here. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna. I haven't seen this yet. I've been saving. Uh, I've been saving up for it. Um, I've had to take care of a lot other a lot of other things before, just to, like Fire Emblem coverage and whatnot. And I still have a lot of scripted stuff I have to take care of. As you can see here, I have like all the all the three houses, Serenade's uh, videos here, um, Serenade's articles. So I still have a lot on my plate for this weekend, um, but I'll hopefully get it done. But I really wanted to take a look at this and share my share my thoughts because this was again one of my favorite childhood games right beside uh, Final Fantasy VI and Shining Force 2 so uh, man I'm stoked for the, to see this so without to be, with that being said let's take a look though he comes across as hot headed and ready for a fight the whole kingdom acknowledges his skill with the blade Duran has nothing but love for his kingdom and respect for the hero king Marth <laughs> a good friend of his departed father Loki the Golden Knight um, so I actually played through this game multiple times and I played as Duran as a main first and then Kevin so and then I put them together the they were my two favorite characters so, like in the original Trials of Mana, uh, you'll be able to and the cool thing about Kevin is that so the cool thing about this game is that there's uh, branching there's a branching class system and each of the each of the classes go through kind of like a light and a dark sort of class path um, and then once you pass that first tier of class promotions, you can kind of either have like a purely light or purely dark, or you can have like a hybrid of light dark or dark light. Um, and that came with different skills and abilities and spells and that kind of thing. Um, the one that I remember most is Kevin's God Hand one, or like Devil Hand or something. This is this is taking me way back, but man, it's bring, it, this brings me back. Angela. Um, She's really good with magic. She actually had one of her one of her like specials in the SNES version or like well in the original was like she mooned the enemy like literally there was sprite out of her butt. I'm pretty sure. Like I don't know if I think it was that. Yeah, it had to be that. So like maybe they're just going to have her like kissing, like doing that that kind of thing. 
because uh, he does that as well. But when I saw that, that I, I was like, oh my god, how are they gonna handle that? Kevin is one of my favorite characters. I love his backstory. Um, he's such a fun character. He's like a really brutish. He can turn into a wolf at night, and he gets like so much strength. He gets like uh, much more power. His combos. He's one of the characters who can combo four times in his in his basic combo, and everyone else can only combo three times. So, um, and given that like the flow of this game was so like heavy on like action and just like hitting A all the time and like just hit, taking HP out of enemies, I found Kevin was so good, and it may and his gameplay really made the really made the the game flow much easier because um with angela or with anyone who uses specials a lot you have to like sift through the men menu and choose a spell whereas since kevin didn't really have any skill he just kind of relied on his attack being amazing like he has no magic attack his magic defense is not that good um you can just kind of flow i found you can flow through the game better because he can attack four times i think hawkeye can do that as well um and his he just damaged, he just had so much basic damage on everyone, and it was just unreal. Kevin is the heir to the throne of Ferolia. His father is the king of the beastmen, but his missing mother was a human woman. Kevin's father raised him to be a fighting machine, which affected... Oh, he, she passed that. Charlotte was a character that I kind of never really got into. She's a really young girl, like, looking for her parents, um, and she's, like, kind of a clear character. Wendell is, like, the 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 kind of uh how can i say this? it's kind of like the the holy place in this world and she used flails so i mean she was okay she was just kind of like a, a mage girl i didn't really get into her story that much uh but she's very nice hawkeye's really cool he has a cool backstory he's like a thief guy uh he can end up being a ninja and that kind of thing uh desert fortress of navarro home to the guild of noble thieves he was raised as orphaned uh, ward of Flamecon, the leader, together with Flamecon's own children, Eagle and Jessica. Hawkeye comes across as a laid-back and charming young man, making it hard to tell when he's being serious, but at his core, something, something. Reese is like the Amazon princess girl. She's like the Amazon, uh, yeah, uh, mountainous, yeah, it says right there, Amazon guard. Um, she's pretty cool. She she can she has a lot of support skills that she can do, so she would, like, buff your party. Uh, she She's one of the... I think she is the only character who has these sort of supports, so that's why I really liked using her, because she would just amp up your strength, or, or I think she would debuff the enemy, or maybe that was Hawkeye, I don't remember. Maybe I'm just thinking Fire Emblem Ninjas. Um, but she would, like, buff up your party and stuff, so that was really good for her. So being a really good support uh, unit was... She was probably like, the, my favorite support unit, because having just more damage you can do with these massively strong bosses was so was super important um so in my playthrough i had kevin i think duran and reese and i was able to get through the game there was an exploitable glitch way back uh in the original version where you can actually um cut down on uh chart like charge up time for a spell by just getting in like going into the menu and coming out of it it just instantly fixed like it instantly cut out all like the wait time you had to do for spells um one sec i have to take space off my memory card <laughs> hold on a second okay i'm back so yeah yeah there was an exploitable glitch where like all the wait time would just vanish and then out that kind of made angela and reese especially just wait let's just so much better because they you didn't have to have any wait time to do anything <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the the characters that we're taking a look at yeah. here? Yeah. I actually liked Duran so much. I remember this now. I actually made a Fire Emblem Seven character sprite of Duran when I was a ki when I was way younger and I was really into sprite art. That's how much I loved this character. I I just remembered that. I wonder if I can bring it up on the screen here. I might have lost it, but yeah, I really like this game. <laughs> Because Angela's mother hardly spent time with her as a child, the princess was prone to act out to get attention wearing gaudy clothes and playing pranks on people in the castle. So, um, well, who we just um, chose as the main character is Duran, and he is a swordsman. Um, he's a balanced character, um, and he's uh, good at defense too, um, so that's him. Right, so as you're scrolling through, you could see their, their different stats here, and that, that's going to show what their strengths and, and maybe some of their weaknesses are in battle. The really cool thing about the original game was when you picked these characters, they had really, really cool official art like in the game, um, whereas in this select one, it's just kind of them doing their idle stance, which is a little bit kind of a letdown. I'd like to see um, 
if they would have like those dynamic poses that they had because this game was super artsy in the original. Hmm. I'm only a minute in. I just keep gabbing about this game. Maybe, maybe we'll like like make a let's play about this when it comes out. I don't know. Okay, that wasn't enough spiel on that. Use in battle, and also depending on which characters you choose, um, the stories um, end up differing as well. So this time we're going to start our adventure with Duran, Reese, and Charlotte. Takes me back. That's what I did. Well, Duran at least. Reese was a very popular character in Japan, I understand. Uh, uh, she's one of the popular mm. characters, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's So we'll be starting out in the town of Jan and playing as the main character that we selected, Duran, who wow. is this seasoned sword warrior, up until a, a recent incident bam, kind of bam. bruises his ego a little bit. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Yeah, this this tracks. So Duran, um, at the very beginning of the story, he suffers a humiliating defeat at the hands of a wizard. This is so cool. Yeah, it's like exactly like. So the cool thing about the original was that all of the uh, all of the cities and the places you visited, they had that kind of that classic kind of like top down perspective. Um, like very Final Fantasy ish, but there were such massive towns. Like they were huge cities. Um, I guess relative to like the, the Super Nintendo at least, but to see it all HD and whatnot, it was just like so interesting. It's like such a. It's like I don't know, man. I'm really, I'm really super the stoked for this so game. Great, fully realized oh, yeah. in 3D now. It's so colorful and bright. It's, it's, it's to me. You yeah. Know, I have played Secret of Mana back in the early 90s. Mm. It's so nostalgic, mm. even though I've never played this before. <laughs> <laughs> even more so when we get into the field here. Some yeah. rabbis. Yeah, yeah we got some rabbis. Like the black <laughs> rabbis. <laughs> <laughs> this is unreal. Yeah, it's really stunning looking. Mm. Is that, yeah, it actually is a beautiful game. Oh my god. So as you traverse the map here, uh, that star up there is indicating... So here comes the combat, so it's just like... Uh, ...letting us know we need to go to Cascade Cavern. Some yeah. combat on the way, though. The uh, action yeah, RPG man. essence that is the Mana series. So cool. Honestly, I'm like really stoked for the soundtrack to come out for this one. Able to use weak attacks, strong attacks, and evasion um, to battle and move um, through the story. Yeah. So the combat system definitely looks like it's advanced from the Super Nintendo days. We're able to jump and attack. And you get different bonuses depending on how you uh, how you approach the combat. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Candy it heals HP, I think. And depending on what combination of buttons you use, you're able to um, <laughs> do attacks that knock back enemies or area attacks. <laughs> and with that, there's also you can strengthen your attacks as well, uh, which sometimes you need to penetrate defenses with a strong attack. Man, this looks so nice. I can't get over it. So that is um, his strong special attack. Because the mush booms deserve no mercy. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely an advancement from the from the classic just hit A the entire time. It's, uh, it's deceiving. It, yeah, it's almost... <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks like it's mean to attack them. Yeah, the Mana series does have a lot of cute um, visuals and characters. Right. And even down to the items, you just use the ring command system. Right. Yeah, um, you did just see the, the ring command, which you may be familiar with um, from Secret of Mana. Mm -hmm. I like that you heal with candy and chocolate. That's <laughs> also how I heal in real life. So. 
、で今、物語は、えー、とちょうどあのデュランが、えー、と今の洞窟の結界に、うんえー、と弾かれてしまったので、うん、ちょっと村人に情報を聞きに行きます。So just now,、um, Duran tried to go into that cavern, but unfortunately he was repelled、um, from entering it. So he's going to go back to the town and、um, see if he can get some information from、uh, the residents of the village. One of the things that I'm loving about this new version of Trials of Mana、mm-hmm. is that it,、uh, it's very reminiscent of the, of the original game, even though it's fully rebuilt and、mm-hmm. brand new in, in 3D.、Mm-hmm. 個人的にはあのオリジナル版の,あの懐かしさをすごくあの体験できると思っていてあの全くリメイクされているのに懐かしさもキープされているという点がいいと思いますそ,その辺もあの意識して作っています Yeah, we did、um, really keep that in mind when we were、uh, making this、uh, title So we're getting some information here from、um, this、uh, townsperson Man, the music is so good Just like, even guys, like, if you have never listened to the so, soundtrack of this game, just do it Like, just, just listen to the soundtrack <laughs> There are all kinds of different characters and townsfolk that we、mm-hmm. could chat with here, but、uh, unfortunately for Treehouse Live, we've got to kind of keep things moving. <laughs> yeah, no schmoozing right now. Right. で、あの今村人からあの夜なんかえっ、ー、と怪しい光が出るという風な情報を聞いたので、えっ、ー、と宿屋に泊まって夜にします。So just now、um, we heard a rumor from the townsperson、um, saying that there's some sort of strange light at night, and so we're going to go to the inn and、um, stay the there until nighttime and see if we can find out what that's about. And the, the Mana series was there you go. The Trials of Mana h a s a system as well. So cool. The Mana series was a data night system. <laughs> I like how his boots like clipping into the <laughs> clipping into the blanket. Well, just as far as going from day to night, so now we're at night time now. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 Maybe Duran's gonna be the new cosplay. I think I can pull that off. Get the, get the Sylph style kind of midriff shirt going on. I'm game for that. Maybe I will do that. Holy shit. Get a big ass wig. Get a helmet. Duran cosplay to Anime North 2020. What do you do when you wake up in the middle of the night? You go and chase after the light. You do dancers. Through the dark forest?、Mm. Yes. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like really late <laughs> for me right now. <laughs> yes, we too are very jet lagged right now, so、um, we're awake at very early hours. <laughs> Oh, you can escape battles? That's interesting. Alright, so we're engaging a little bit yeah, more combat here on the way to our objective. We've got to stop to fight some rabbis on the way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so the reason why, so in case you guys don't know,、um, there is, you can't just spam attacks all the time. There is like a very short cooldown.、Um, So that's why every time he finishes an attack, there's some lag there because、uh, you have to kind of wait till you get back into the attack, so. That's why there's like a short cooldown for each of these series of. I love the, the bonuses that appear on、uh-huh. screen. To do your attacks. To be an alternate objective. Even if you're fighting easier enemies,、mm. uh, you can try and do it very quickly and get a little bit more、mm. of a bonus that way. A little bit more incentive to be strategic. Yeah. So we're encountering a, a new character. <laughs> so this is the fairy, and、um, she is a navigation character. And、um, we don't know the details、um, just yet, but、um, she says that she's going to、um, get rid of that barrier on that cavern from earlier, and so we're going to、um, kind of follow her. 
、でえー、とちなみに今、ボイスは入ってないと思うんですけれども、最終的には、えー、と英語と日本語でボイスが入る予定です。And right now,、um, there's no voiceover, of course, but、um, ultimately we are going to have both English and Japanese. Nice! Oh, that's great. The text is going to be French, Dutch, and Spain. And as far as the text goes,、um, that'll be available in、um, French, German, and Spanish as well. Oh, oh excellent. So, if you weren't paying attention to what we were just seeing in the story there, they, they just heard a sound、mm. um, back towards the town. So,、mm. I think they're going to go investigate and see what's、mm. going on over there. Now, we're approaching past the halfway point here. So, sorry if I kind of rambled throughout this one for a while. I kind of couldn't help it. <laughs> So, heading back here using the. You can run, I think, if you press down on the control stick. So, this is a button on the stick. So, this is a dash. Yes, you can、um, dash, you can run、um, by push, pushing down on the control stick. And there are a lot of hidden elements in this area that you could explore. There, there are treasure chests, there are items that you can find. So, escaping battle is definitely a new thing they put in the game. Yes,、um, there are、uh, treasure chests and、uh, whatnot hidden away、um, in certain areas. So, if you、um, kind of、uh, take the long way sometimes and、um, see if those are available,、um, that's another fun part. Right. Makes the world more lively and interactive, so、yeah. I always appreciate features like that. We also saw him escape from battle just there. The song was the shit. Yeah, this town got messed we up. To get back to the town because we've, we've reached an awful scene here. The town's been destroyed. Yeah, so、um, it looks like the Beastmen have、um, destroyed this town.、Um, unfortunately, we don't know why just yet, but we'll see. It's part of the story as it develops, and we try not to spoil too much. Yeah, so the, this. For, so for many people in, in、mm. North America, this is probably the first time they, they'll be playing this.、Yeah. Or on the Trials of Mana, also、mm. on the Collection of Mana. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head back to Wendell here. Hopefully, we can get through the cave this time. Yeah, so the beginning. So, okay, never mind. I'll tell you guys after. <laughs> so,、um, this is where we meet Reese, who is our second、um, companion. Reese is the Roland to the Kuni no Ojo Sama. ロナントという国はあの冒頭盗賊団によってあの滅ぼされてしまうんですけれどもその国を再興するためにえと今デュランと同じ目的であるウェンデルに今向かっているところです。Um, so, Reese is the princess of a kingdom called Lorant. However, that kingdom has been destroyed、um, by a group of thieves. And so, she's trying to kind of restore her kingdom. And in order to do so, she's headed to、um, the city of Wendell, which is also where Duran is headed. So, it's an interesting way to make the storylines converge is, is、mm. these two characters have the same,、mm. different objectives,、yeah. same,、uh, same place. 他の6人のキャラクターも結構ウェンデルでごあのに向かっていることが多いです。Yeah, and for the other six,、uh, out of the other six characters,、um, the others、um, are many of them are headed towards Wendell as well.、うん、ちょっとこれはデモ版なので、3人目の選択者シャルロットもえっ、ー、と実はこの時点で今仲間にします。Um, so, since this is the demo version,、um, Charlotte is going to、uh, jump in and、uh, join our party right now as well. Charlotte is also the one who is 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 the one For Charlotte,、um, I don't very, remember, but、um, I think it's the first boss. Her, someone who's very important to her was abducted by some evildoers, and so、um, she's trying to、um, get back there and、um, trying to、uh, solve that. So, all of these characters have their own objectives that、mm. you're going to get to learn more about as、yeah. you progress through the story. Yeah, 
ちょっとこれもデモ版なのでショートタックを見てみてください。So, since this is a demo version again,、uh, we're going to use a little shortcut and、um, jump right into the boss battle. Oh, there you go. But ordinarily, there would be much more to do here in the Cascade Cavern. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the hugger? We saw some of the cute enemies, though. That,、mm -hmm. that bat was pretty adorable,、mm. also. Oh, yeah, this is the hugger. And onto the not so adorable. Yeah. We may recognize this guy from earlier. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Metal hugger. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> When this music came on for the first time, I was like, good lord. Different type of battle system. And we didn't talk about it earlier, but the, the eyes of this、uh, character are his weak point. Ah, so this man. But the eyes of this character are his weak point. Ah, so this man. But the eyes of this character are his weak point. Ah, so this man. But the eyes of this character are his weak point. Um, this enemy shoots beams from its eyes, and so we need to be very cautious about that as we engage in battle with it. The character is now Reese, and you can change the character to change the character. And right now we're using、um, Charlotte at the moment, but we're able to switch、um, back and forth through the characters、um, as you like. That's awesome. And then they can all use the ring command, they've all got their different weapons. Charlotte's got、yeah. some, I believe she's got a nunchuck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Nunchuck. <laughs> yeah, and some of them have,、uh, are better at magical abilities than、mm. others, so you、mm. can switch to them to maybe heal your party or do other sorts of things. Yeah, yes.、Yeah. Mm. Looks、I、like you're making really quick work、mm. of, the, of the boss. <laughs> <laughs> They had a tutorial、uh, yes. at the top of the segment. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. <laughs> Smile. That was sick. Um, Well, damn. That was awesome. I was so, I'm so happy I, I'm so happy this game's coming out. It's unreal.、Um, hope you guys enjoyed this kind of offshoot.、Uh, there's another video here, too. I don't know if it's the same one. Oh, they just talked about the old game here. Oh, they're playing the old game. No, they're not. Yeah, okay. Some rabbi.、Um, or is it effectively、um, the same thing? Yeah. Characters and townsfolk that we、mm -hmm. could chat. They just kind of have a. They had just had the beginning thing there. So. Officially、yes. for the first time, which the the retro gamer in me. Collection of mana. The Western audiences until now, so we're really excited to be、yeah. able to、um, get that game、um, to the Western audience now. Play it, man. If you can play this game, get it. Just emulate it. Play it on. Get get the mana trilogy. Uh, it's so worth it. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for me for this、uh, different, little different video. If you guys are fans of Trials of Mana or the Mana series, or you're really excited for the game, let me know what you think about this game, who your favorite character was, what character you played with the most.、Um, and I'm sure it's going to be a really fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.